Hello everyone, this is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is Tech 15. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a great website that I've been using for a couple of years now called Socrative. Socrative is what we call a student response system tool. It is also device agnostic, which means you can gather student information in multiple formats, multiple choice, short answer, long answer, polling, any of the above. And you can use any device with your student. It does not matter if they are using laptops, you can use this in a computer lab. You can use this with your students if they have handheld devices such as iPads, Windows Surface, if they have Google Nexi, if they have their own phones. It does not matter. When it's device agnostic, the focus is on the tool. And so what happens is, is your students will actually log in when you come to Socrative.com. We'll start there. So you come to Socrative.com and your students will actually go to student login. What you as the teacher do, or what you as the teacher will do, is you will actually click on teacher login and you will set up your own account. I'm already logged in. I'm acting in the library and that is the name of my room. Quickly, I'll go back to Socrative.com. What your students are going to see is the student login, the teacher login. Teacher login is where you go to create questions, to do reports, quizzes, anything like that. Student login is where your students go, and students can answer questions on your time, their own time, and they can advance at their leisure. We're going to go to, t and all they're going to do is log in to the account under your name. So I've already logged in today. I've already created my account. I'm going to go to teacher login, and my room is called acting in the library. So when students came to my room, they would actually click on student login. They would sign into acting in the library, and then they would be there. There are no student accounts. Students do not have to sign up for Socrative. It is completely the teachers who create the account, and from there, anyone can use this. There are no student accounts, there are no student signups, there's no student emails, and that is the beauty of this system. So, if you already have quizzes that you have created, you can start a quiz that's right in this corner over here to the left that I'm circling. You can do a quick question, which is just if you want to ask just a one question at the beginning of the day, an objective, if you will, a quick question, say if you're working with Wonderopolis and you want to ask a quick question for the day, whatever the case may be. You can do a space race, which is a group racing program where you have spaceships that race across on a timed measure. You can also do an exit ticket, which you've got a quick question kind of for the beginning of the day or the middle of the day. You can also do an exit ticket for a question where you would finish at the end of the day. Now, if you want to manage your quizzes, you can click on manage your quizzes. That makes sense. And then you can create a quiz. You can import a quiz if you have something in Word or such. You can look at your quizzes that you've created or your reports. And you can create reports. You can download these. You can put them into different types of software such as Excel and you can have all different types of output from this so this isn't just a fun activity with bring your own device or having students answer or anything along those lines this is an opportunity for students to be able to respond and you can create any sort of reports you can have any sort of backup to what it is that you're doing in your class while you integrate this technology so of course you're going to want to create a quiz I've created a few I'm going to create a quick short quiz. Let's just say that I wanted to do one about favorite reads. Since I do libraries, I can share it if I want to. I can create a multiple choice question, true, false, or a short answer. Once I click on short answer, I can ask quick questions along the lines of, what is your favorite type of book? I can give examples if I want. And then I can add another question. Do you like long, short, or medium length books? Whatever the case may be, I'm just making something up right at the moment. 
You can add in images if you wish. You can add in explanations. You can actually give a correct answer if there was a correct answer. There really isn't to any of these. An image would be nice if I wanted to, if I had like an image of a book or someone reading a book or me reading a book, whatever the case may be. And then when I am done, I can save and exit. That's over here in the right-hand corner. And then I can select my quiz. At this point, I can download it. I can delete it, I can duplicate it, I can edit it. These are all the things I can do to work on the quiz. And then over here on the left side, I can go back to my dashboard and then I can start a quiz. These are where all the quizzes are. You can actually see a couple of demos. Then I can go to favorite reads. I can actually do a student paste immediate feedback, a student paste where the students navigate it, or I can do the paste. And then I can start it. And so from here, I can have what is your favorite type of book? And you can see the students that answer. Now, your students can sign in with their name. This is they can create their own name. They can sign in with their name. And all it is is when they go to acting in the library at Socrative.com, it will ask for their name. Now, you can tell them you would like for them to tell the truth simply because for your reports, it would really help. Especially if this is the type of thing where you're doing a quick quiz, short answer, feedback, exit tickets, anything to show that your students understand as a whole. Now, on the flip side, you may just need to have information in general. It just kind of depends. But on the flip side, it just kind of depends on what it is that you're looking for. But your students typically will sign in with their name. They could just use their first name if they wish. And then from there, they can answer the questions. I have used this with students. I have used this at conferences because once again, no one has to sign up except for me. So I can immediately use this and all folks again have to do is sign into acting in the library and then they are in my room to answer my questions. I can create any questions. Students can have the feedback. Students can give their and go at their pace for questions. Once I'm done with questions, I can click on finish and we can have our reports. I can get them emailed, downloaded. I can send them to Google Drive. I can view a chart. Uh, one of the nice things, if you do open answer or short answer, say that you ask students what their favorite color was, you could pick the top five choices and then you could do a poll where students vote, vote for their favorite. So there's lots of different things you can do in here. I recommend trying it out, playing with it if this is something you're interested in. So this is Socrative, great tool, device agnostic, use it with any type of tool with your students. Student paste, teacher paste, an incredibly exciting tool that I really enjoy sharing. Hope you enjoy it too. Thank you so much. More videos coming from Tech 15 soon. Thanks. Have a great day.